Assalamu alaikum fam. So some of you are probably new to the channel and you have no idea what my goals are, who I am. So I am also a philosophy student, a theology student, a student of history, of literature, poetry, all kinds of books. I am a bibliophile, I am a seeker, I'm a student of knowledge, an academic, someone who really likes learning. This channel is not just about Islam. When I first started my YouTube channel, it was never just about Islam because I wasn't even a Muslim yet. So my previous playlist of a lot of the work I did, I deleted because too many people were freaking out and too many extremists were threatening me saying my hair was showing. So I just went ahead and deleted a lot of videos. But I, you know, look back on that and I think I should have just left them because now people are confused as to who I am and what my purpose is. So I'm going to give you a tour of some of my books. Uh, I didn't bring all of them because I didn't want to mess up my bookshelves too much. And it's going to be kind of annoying to put them all back. But I'll just kind of give you a, a little bit of a rundown. So I've read this book. That's a Buddhist book. There's this book, which was like animal totems and like weird spirits. It was a pretty strange book, but I read it nonetheless. Okay, I read this one. It's about the Druids. These were the people who Caesar of Rome, Gaius Julius Caesar, conquered. Okay. This is the Freemasons book, uh, Albert Pike's Morals and Dogma. So I have some other bookmarks in here and stuff. Uh, this is a very rare book, by the way. Here's another one uh, by Manly P. Hall, Lectures in Ancient Philosophy. Uh, he was a 33rd degree Freemason. His works were quite astounding. He's a pretty smart dude. This is another cute book, Celtic Tales. Uh, fairy tale story from a chant from, from Ireland, Scotland, Brittany, and Wales. And then this was a nice playlist that I had, I had to delete. A lot of the videos because my hair maybe I'll just redo it again but these were from the tribal peoples of North America there's this book which is the book of Enoch um, which is, was pretty trippy pretty interesting <clears throat> there was this book which was cool the Christ conspiracy the greatest story ever sold this was a book about how many crucified saviors have come in the past controversial text but uh, it was interesting nonetheless. Then here's this one. Bertrand Russell's History of Western Philosophy. Then I have this book. Uh, all the Greek mythology, right? So the complete encyclopedic work of the, you know, polytheist Greeks. Then I had this one, which also was really interesting about all the deities in the encyclopedic fashion educational book about the gods and goddesses of ancient Egypt. I also have read the papyrus of Ani. This is a book I was doing on Bookshop Vimeo channel. I'll do it on our channel here later, inshallah. St. Augustine's Confessions. This is a Jehovah's Witness book, reasoning from the scripture. So it's like their mini Dawa book, which was really interesting to read. They gave it to me, and uh, it's really interesting for understanding their ideas this is another jehovah's witness book revelation has like all their stuff in there and stuff then this is another jehovah's witness book i have a lot from them just to understand them okay this was another one of the jehovah's witness like their bible stories so <clears throat> when you go to their temple you'll learn another one of their jehovah's witness books Learn from the great teacher. Here's Jesus for them. This is a Shia book that I read, all of it. Then Jewel Balaga. This is Richard Dawkins' book that I read. Atheist Richard Dawkins. I have more, uh, but I don't want to pull them all down. This is uh, Elena Blavatsky, The Key to Theosophy. She, and then this is another one of her books, uh, Isis Unveiled. Both volumes, uh, you know. Very interesting text. Uh, very interesting text. So then, this is the Mayan Popol Vuh. I had a whole playlist on the channel, but I deleted it because my hair. But this is what the ancient Mayans had, uh, which is very cool. Very interesting to read about. Then, obviously, this is it's pretty beat up. My poor book. A book on logic. Okay. So, 
this is just a minor example of what kind of books I read. So, yes, I am a Muslim, but that does not mean that I only have to make my channel only about Islam because some of you are new here or don't understand me or have any idea who I am. Um, you can see I have video games, I have vlogging, I have bug videos, bird videos. I'm a unique person and I've read all kinds of things. So if you can't handle that and you want to keep spamming hate and fear mongering, saying I'm a bad person or whatever strange, bizarre ranting you're doing, you know, just think about it. Uh, you shouldn't talk to people like that and you should have some respect for people who've studied more subjects than you. Maybe you're an expert in something that I'm not and I should learn from you. It is possible to be an intelligent Muslim and not be a retard who only knows one thing. Okay? So this is the thing I don't like, is that some of you are like, oh, well, you can never be a sheikha. Oh, you, what you do for Islam is not enough. And then the other subjects I read, some of you complain. Just seems like endless whining no matter what I do. It's really strange why you would subscribe to someone's channel and then just, like, freak out and whine. It's, it's like some of you, this is the problem where I think where some maybe people are not bothered with education either they don't go to libraries they don't read enough maybe they're just on tiktok all day but for people who are academics they're knowledge seekers they are bibliophiles they're scholars in different fields we have a right to study and learn in peace and society that is smart respects students of knowledge and people of knowledge just because you personally do not like the subjects i study does not mean I'm bad or something. I was targeted by Muslim extremists in the beginning of my channel and in the middle of it and I'm not going to bow down anymore. I'm not going to be targeted by people who hate learning. And don't tell me they weren't Muslim and if you only care the fact that I called them Muslim, that's part of the problem. Okay, I've learned a lot surviving so many attacks and so many threats. For simply reading books and I'm not going to tolerate it anymore so if you keep I didn't check the comments for a long time just because I want you guys to maybe nerd out and have a good time but if you're going to keep spamming hate and you know I'll just have to block you because you're ruining it for everybody and it just kind of shows that you're on the wrong channel and you're not really welcome here you can disagree with something with just speaking normally right but if you can't, you know, learn to disagree on certain things and you get triggered so easy by every minor thing, I think you, maybe you should be on a different channel and me blocking you will help force you to go on a different channel. So let me be a student of knowledge, have some respect, create your own channel where you can create the type of content you want to, okay? I think that would be probably much better for you since you don't have any respect for people who study more than you. And I'm not going to allow the mob or threats or extremists to push me away from my own path. Allah has given me a brain. I will use my brain. And in the future, I can use it to make all kinds of books and talk to all kinds of people. Okay? So, I'm not going to tolerate threats anymore. It's been a long, heavy road of dealing with extremist women and extremist men. And... I know most of the attacks are mostly coming from my fellow Muslims. They're not coming uh, from atheists or other groups, which is surprising. Uh, which is surprising. So I'm not going to tolerate it anymore. If you can't handle an academic, a theology student reading Christian books, I think you need to kind of grow up a little bit and realize, you know, it's 2021 and there are Islamic scholars who have studied Christian works and wrote books on them. So I don't understand what the problem is. So be respectful, grow up, unsubscribe, or I'll just block you, okay? That's pretty much what it is. If, I, if Christians can deal with seeing countless Muslim videos and they don't spam the Muslim videos, you can do the same by being just respectful, okay? And if you can't handle a Bible video in your feed on YouTube, I mean, how do you go about walking around the earth? I mean, there's all kinds of people in the world, you know? If you go around getting mad at everything just because it doesn't fit your personality, I think you have a problem. And you should probably check out 
playlists and stuff like that before you subscribe to a channel. So I'm a student of knowledge and that's that.